This is the story of the adventures of Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer lived in Missouri a long time ago, back in the days where tired people were fagged out. Nope still meant yes, and the end bomb was dropped liberally and by all and sundry. He was a rambunctious fellow who liked to play pranks and didn't like school so much. You can kind of think of him as the Roman Atwood of 1840. One day, when he was supposed to go to school, he was like, F this, I'm gonna go swimming in the mighty Mississippi before it becomes the sewer pipe of middle America. You can't say the kid didn't have vision. Of course he got in trouble for ditching. And back in these days, it wasn't like you just got detention or lightly fondled by the gym teacher. No, they put you to work. Tom was tasked with painting an entire fence white for hours on end in the hot sun. But he was a shysty little bastard, and above all, he despised work. Nowadays, we would call this leadership potential, and we would probably elect him as senator a few years down the line. In fact, I think this is where the term whitewashing came from. Tom made it look like he was having a lot of fun, so the other kids envied him. Then he traded time whitewashing for really cool toys, like a dead rat on a string, orange peels, and a BB-8 droid from The Force Awakens. Tom learned that in order to make someone want something really bad, he had to make it really hard to get. Like Becky Thatcher, the one girl at a school who wouldn't give him a handy. Tom had a big crush on Becky, and one time he got her hopped up on hooch and made out with her. Some of us would call that drug-assisted sexual assault, but back then it was just called good old tomfoolery. <laughs> Get it? They even got engaged, but the engagement was called off when Becky found out that Tom had already been engaged to Amy Lawrence, so she was actually his second choice. Yeah, totally Steve Harvey. <laughs> This also made Becky ineligible to receive half of his estate, which of course consisted of the aforementioned dead rat on a string, orange peels, and BB-8. So she bounced, fucking gold digger. But Tom was persistent, and during a class picnic, he coaxed Becky into a cave. Nobody knows what he said to her to convince her to go with him, but let's assume it was something sweet. You know, like, get in the cave, bitch, and don't make any noise. <laughs> Deeper and deeper, they ventured into the dank cave. So deep, so wet, but soon they got lost. Becky was relieved though, because at least if they were lost, they wouldn't starve because Tom brought a picnic basket. But to her dismay, the only thing in the basket was a bottle of lotion. Several days passed and they were still lost. Becky was getting dehydrated and starving. In order not to get separated in the darkness, Tom told Becky to wait for him in a little hole while he looked around for an exit. He then would come back periodically to give her lotion. It puts the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told, he would say. At least I'm well moisturized, thought Becky. Then one day, Tom saw someone else living in the cave, and then he miraculously found his way out. Tom and Becky were welcomed back into the community, and as a precaution, the cave was sealed shut. A few days later, Tom was like, oh, BT Dubs, there was someone else living in the cave, and sure enough, there was. They found him starved to death just outside the entrance. Come back next week when I'll read the red badge of herpes. Are you tired of creeps and weirdos always goggling your phone while you're using it? Sounds like you need the Second Skin Ghost Private Screen Protection. Just open that bad boy up, take it out of its nifty packaging, and attach the screen to your smartphone and SLAM! You got yourself full screen coverage that retains perfect optical clarity and touch sensitivity. Not only that, but it appears completely black from 30 degrees either side. So don't be embarrassed to text about that hottie you see across the room. Let your friend know you want that hottie. And feel no worries when crafting emails to your lover in the office. Hey, they don't need to know. And rest easy knowing that no one can see you watching Bieber's music videos. It also has the added bonus of being the world's strongest screen with a rating of 9H and with a lifetime warranty as the cherry on top. So click the link and get your second skin ghost. And you can leave all those wandering eyes in the dark.